The seventh thing is you need to follow what I call the 10, 20, 30 rule. I have this thing called Meniere's disease. Meniere's disease has three symptoms. Hearing loss, tinnitus, which is a constant ringing in my ear, and sometimes I get dizzy or vertigo from this inner ear affliction. Um, medical science has tried to to figure this disease out. They think it may be too much salt in your diet, too much retention, too much caffeine. That's why I don't drink too much Mountain Dew. Um, too much stress, allergies. There's a bunch of theoretical medical reasons. I've tried to cure it with all of these, controlling all those factors. I will tell you, though, I have another theory about what causes Meniere's disease. I am a venture capitalist. By definition, it means that I have to listen to pitches day in and day out. And day in and day out, entrepreneurs come to me and they pitch me and they have 60 slides in a pitch. And in that 60 slides, they're convincing me that all they need is 1% of the market, that they have first mover advantage, that they have patents pending, that they have a unique proven team with a proven technology in a proven market. Every one of them, whether it's for shrimp farming, fabulous semiconductor, social networks, every one of them says that. And because I have to listen to such crap, I have a ringing in my head. I'm going deaf and I get dizzy. (laughs) So before there's an epidemic of Meniere's disease in the venture capital industry, I came up with the 10-20-30 rule. This is the 10-20-30 rule. You should have 10 slides in your PowerPoint pitch. 10, not 50. I don't care if you have curve jumping, paradigm shifting, P2P, Google AdWords, social network, optimized, SQL-based way to sell dog food online. Ten slides. That's all we can handle. Those ten slides you should be able to give in 20 minutes. You may have a one-hour meeting, but you're using a Windows laptop. It's going to take you 40 minutes to make it work with the projector. (laughs) All right? 20 minutes. And the smallest font you should use is 30 points. You see 20, 14, and 12. You should use 30 points for two reasons. First, the kind of people you're pitching to looks like that. The second reason is by having a 30-point font, you can put a lot less text. This forces you to actually know your presentation and just put the core of the text on your slide. If you need to put 8 points or 10 points fonts up there, it's because you don't know your material. If you start reading your material because you don't know your material, the audience is very quickly going to figure out that you are a bozo. They're going to say to themselves, this bozo is reading his slides. I can read faster than this bozo can speak. I will just read ahead. If you don't buy that 30 points is the right font size, I will give you an algorithm. Give you an algorithm. Find out who the oldest person is in the audience. Divide his or her age by two. That's your optimal font size. Okay? Unless you're pitching to 16-year-olds, don't use the eight-point font. (laughs) The eighth thing is to hire infected people. 